There it is. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Old school Burt the Grand backstage here at the VOW Burnt Offerings, the Ice Mine, Connellsville, Pennsylvania. And I'm sitting here with a, a guy I've known for a long time, known for many years, uh, a, a daredevil who has perfected his craft here in VOW with Reckless Abandon, the one and only uh, G Raver. G Raver, how you doing? No problem, man. Now, G Raver, I know you want to shake, but uh, let's talk about it, man. A lot of controversy for you here in VOW. Uh, you know, the, the VOW fan base is buzzing. There's a video that you posted on our Facebook page, and uh, it's you, you're in the graveyard, you got your trademark mask, and uh, a lot of images, a lot of, a lot of emotions swirling around as, as you lower your, your mask onto a gravesite. Now, uh, a lot of symbolism in that video, a lot of uh, speculation going on here in VOW, and uh, you know, there could be a lot of broken hearts with this uh, next question, but... Uh, is the end near for uh, G. Raver here in VOW? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. One word. Why? <laughs> you know, I had a feeling not only would you ask that question, but they would ask that question. A lot of people have asked that question. And am I going to tell you why? No. No, I'm not. Well, be that as it may, the speculation uh, of it being your, 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 your time coming up here in VOW next month, September 13th, um, big tournament coming up. It's the Lord of Anarchy Tournament. And, uh, you know, <laughs> when I look at you, G Raver, you, your body of work here in VOW just screams anarchy. And, and it's one of the, the biggest ironies here in VOW. You are the, the epitome of anarchy, and yet you never actually held the Anarchy title. Now, will this tournament, obviously your goal is to win the tournament, That's the, there's no doubt about that. Anybody who wants to compete in VOW wants to win as, as much as they can, but um, it, it, do you think that winning this tournament would send a message to, to the fans, to the, to the rest of the boys in the back, and, and, and to the, more importantly, the VOW management, that you, G. Raver, are in fact the, the, the pinnacle of Anarchy Wrestling here in VOW? <laughs> Before you keep talking, the first thing you said was symbolism and, and you said that there was speculation that, that this was going to be it. There was. Speculation. There's no speculation. None. There isn't any speculation whatsoever because I'm telling you now this is it. This is it. If this defines me. <laughs> For the rest of my entire career, then I'll have achieved exactly what I wanted to achieve. And society may show it or may, may look at it for whatever reason they want to find. I don't care. <laughs> it's not for them to determine why I've been doing everything that I've been doing. There is no reason, there is no rhyme, I have my reasons. Just like an artist will paint with acrylics, just like an artist will paint with enamel, whatever they want. Spray paint, however they want to do it. Maybe I want to paint with stuff like this. But the truth is, is finding some people that want to maybe express that in that way. And I'll tell you right now in the VOW locker room, as you can clearly see, they've had to bring in, what, Sabu? <laughs> Matt Tremont! Because no one else wants to do it. And right now you have an anarchy champion that doesn't have any guts. Because he had an opportunity to face me, to show himself to why he's carrying that belt that he doesn't deserve to carry. But he didn't want to show. <laughs> he didn't want to show.
analogy, whatever. Take me into your head. Take take the fans into your head. Take anybody who's watching this into your head. I've never stepped foot in a VOW ring. The fans have never stepped foot in a VOW ring. You have many, many times over. What is your mindset going into this tournament, going into a VOW match, and knowing that it is likely going to be the end for G. Raver? <laughs> there is no preparation for this. There is no mindset. No normal individual can sit there and say that they're just ready to do this. That they're just going to get in there and play around with, with tacks, glass, barbed wire, whatever. <laughs> they don't just go in and do this. So, where is my mindset? The mindset is simply this. There is no mindset. You either have to be that person, that individual who's willing to step in there and disregard their body, mind, and entire soul well-being on this earth to perform in something like this. <laughs> and for years, even before VOW, whether it was any other place that I wrestled, I brought that. I started in this business looking for this and I never got the opportunity so what did I do I started making my own opportunity so I started introducing that into any of my matches that I was in and to see once again who would have the balls to get in there and play around with some of the things that I wanted to create my artwork with. <laughs> and, and very few, like I said, wanted to do that. So I will continue that legacy. I will continue doing that. And I will do that in this tournament. And I don't have a mindset. I am a sick, messed up, twisted individual. And if anybody hasn't figured that out by now, <laughs> you're clearly not paying attention! <laughs> now, G. Raver, you, you, you talk about being a messed up, sick, twisted individual, and, and, and I, I can't address your, your role in VOW, your, your history, your career in VOW, without mentioning the, the people with whom you share a kindred spirit as your role in, in, in as the, the resident psycho of one of the most dominant, perplexing factions in VOW history, the congregation, your your best friend Gory, Chance Prophet, Salem. What what do you think, what what do you foresee with G Raver out of the picture happening to the rest of the congregation? What 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 words do you have for them right now? The congregation is an assembly of like-minded people. Absolutely. Twisted, sick, <laughs> no regard. <laughs> we do what we want. We each individually beat to the tune of our own drum. Gory never needed me. He will be fine regardless. Chance profit. <laughs> Not much different than Gory. He runs the show and, and he will be fine. <laughs> he will be fine. Anybody else involved will be fine. Salem! right here. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Wow. <laughs> Gee, Raver. What, you touched on this earlier, what do you want your legacy to be? How do you want to be remembered in VOW? How do I want to be remembered? 
do I want to be remembered? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, I never looked at society as some people that uh, gathering or uh, way of thinking or society in general. Just, just as people, uh, I don't follow those rules. Society. Just letting you know that. Okay. And just when I mean that, <laughs> I, I mean that. I don't care what society thinks. I don't think like they do. And I want to express myself in any way that I can. And if it shocks people, <laughs> if it disgusts people, there are sick, twisted, mad individuals, some of which have been locked up, some of which that still roam around, that guess what, are your next door neighbor. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's reality. That's life. That's real. So if I want to be remembered as anything, it's going to be that I am real. I am real as it gets. What you see is me and will always be me even if it isn't here. And I will continue to represent that for the rest of my life because I am not like you. <laughs> the wrestling business, which you're a part of, which I'm a part of, which many people are a part of, never say never. G. Raver, is there a chance that we'll see you back in BOW sometime down the road? This kind of uh, reminds me of your first question and then your second question, which both of them Ladies and gentlemen, G. Raver, September 13th, Lord of the Anar Lord of Anarchy Deathmatch Tournament. G. Raver's last stand here in VOW. Will he come out on top? Time will only tell. Yes! <laughs> G. Raver, thank you very much. It's been an honor and a pleasure to talk with you. Old school bro, the ground checking in here in VOW. <laughs>